صلوا على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله عظم الله جورنا وأجوركم بمصابنا بسيدنا ومولانا أمير المؤمنين علي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وجعلنا الله وإياكم من الطالبين بثأره بين يدي الإمام المنصور المؤيد المهدي من آل محمد My condolences to each and every one of you on this night and the forthcoming nights of the martyrdom of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night in the name of Imam Ali alayhi salam answer all of our hajat, ya Allah. And we ask for the shafa'ah of Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam on yawm al-qiyamah, ya Allah. I'm going to hand over inshallah very shortly to Hajj Sajjad. He will be the captain tonight who will insha'Allah lead the ship of the lovers of Muhammad and al-Muhammad and we will continue insha'Allah with our a'mal suffice for me just to mention a couple of points before we continue with the a'mal first and foremost tonight I want all of you to have a PHS instead of a PhD what is a PHS? a PHS is tonight is a night where we want to have presence of the heart and sincerity in what we're doing if we can achieve that tonight where we have presence of the heart sincerity in what we're doing then our night will be complete for some of you here you may be able to do six hours of amal there are some of you here who may be able to do half an hour of amal some of you might be able to do the whole of salat al-layl some of you might be able to do only Salat al-Witr. More important than quantity is quality. Quantity is very easy. I can now get a robot and press play and he can read for six hours. But that world of artificial intelligence will never have a heart that yearns or the vibrations of a soul that seeks connection with its creator. Whereas on a night like this, no one can force you to do any a'mal. You yourself have a presence of your heart with the a'mal that you're doing. There may be some of the du'as we recite tonight, you don't even have to look into your du'a book. Rather, all you need to do is look at the screen and maybe ponder on the translation of that du'a. Most important on this night, a night which Ahlul Bayt used to value so much, that the Prophet would spend the whole night in the mosque and you would find Fatima al-Zahra taking Imam al-Hassan and Imam al-Hussein at a young age السلام, on a night like this and you'd find Imam al-Sadiq on nights like this even if he was feeling unwell he'd tell people carry me to the mosque so that I may complete the a'mal but at the same time they would always focus on the importance of the presence of the heart in every action that you perform at the end of the day, our Lord says, call upon me, I will answer you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most generous. But like every action, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always tells us that the act's basis is the niyyah. Is my niyyah tonight that I have come here a very basic niyyah, and that is because I'm scared of hell. So I made sure that I didn't miss this night so that I don't burn in that place the Quran talks about. That's a very basic niyyah, it's a good niyyah, but Imam Ali says it's the worship of a slave. Then there are those who may come on a night like this and literally they're just thinking, if you do 19, 21, 23, then you can make it into this glorious heaven. It's not the worst niyyah, but it's the niyyah of a businessman, tit for tat. I'll come, I'll do all these things, you make sure you give me a nice garden with rivers. That second type of worship is business. Purely you and Allah's relationship is business. When I'm ready to come to the mosque, I'll come on the 19th, 21st, 23rd. Otherwise, it's up to me when I feel like coming to your house. Good level, but businessmen. But then this highest level, inshallah, tonight will be the level of those who are saying, Ya Allah, I have come tonight to speak to you about how grateful I am for everything you've given me in life. That makes you feel free tonight. Thank Allah for what you've been given. Tonight is a night of gratefulness to Allah. 
The highest act on this night, the highest act is what? Is to seek knowledge. The highest act tonight is to seek knowledge. Knowledge comes way higher than any other act in Islam. You can have a thousand people reading du'as in Arabic without having a clue what they're saying. But you can have five people with ilm. It makes a difference to the vision and future of any mosque. The most important act tonight is what ilm have you gained? If you have not gained any ilm, and mashallah, all of you are lovers of ilm. Otherwise, why would you be here tonight except that you want to hear a lecture on Imam Ali alayhi salam? Isn't that the case? So the highest level of a'mal is actually to gain ilm. The second highest level of any of the a'mal is what? Is to give charity tonight. The third highest level of the a'mal is to feed someone poor or orphan. Do you see Ahl al-Bayt did not move us straight to opening a du'a book. The religion was practical, it was social, it was transformative and life-changing. A society which is only based on people who read on set days, that doesn't build society. What builds society is knowledge. What builds society is charity. What builds society is caring for others. On nights like this, the Ahl al-Bayt, you'd hear how that poor person on a night like this said, where's the man who used to feed me every night? How did it reach a level where he feeds him in the night? If these are the nights of Qadr, you would have expected that man to always be in the mihrab or doing a'mal. No, he felt the best amal was to walk around Kufa looking for poor people. So therefore, these are the highest a'mal. And then Ahlul Bayt have given us a supplement to these. The supplement to these are what we're all going to be reciting together, inshallah, tonight. Once again, recite what you want to recite. Hajj Sajjad and myself will only try and guide on what is recommended to be recited. Don't put yourself under any pressure, otherwise you're worshipping the wrong God. God doesn't tell you, come to my house, and then if you don't read this particular line in my house, I'll kick you out. That would mean his creation is more merciful than him. Because when you go to his creation's houses, even if you make a mistake or you don't do anything, they still will be hospitable to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more hospitable than his creation. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night says, Welcome to my banquet. You have starters, and you have mains, and you have desserts. And it's up to you which ones of those you want to begin with. Pick something from there, but please make sure that whatever you've picked means that you'll change after tonight. Those of you who still have grudges against one another, those of you who still do not give 70 excuses to one another, those of you who love spreading gossip about people's lives, try tonight to maybe look in the mirror and say, I think I want to be a change person. And I think that hopefully these a'mal will change me. The aim of these a'mal, the aim is to change. Whether you achieve it or not, is solely in your hands. You want to change, it will happen. And then Islam grows because of more people changing. If you want to remain just tick box, then tick box will never build a religion. It builds culture. And we need more of the religion built than we need culture being built. So inshallah, I ask all of you to forgive me first and foremost if I've said anything that has ever hurt you or if I've said anything that may have burst the bubble of your intense knowledge that you carry more than me. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me for anything and my shortcomings. And likewise, may Allah forgive you for whatever limited shortcomings you may have. We all strive to get closer to one man tonight, and that's the Imam of our time. Inshallah, on a night like this, he is Sahib al-Amr, and he is the one who the affair is presented to. Our Lord, of course, has these representatives who remain a mercy for us. Tonight, talk to your Imam. Your Imam can hear you. You never know, your Imam may be sitting next to you. Talk to him. And tell him about how good a Muslim you've been in the last six months. And tell him about how well behaved you've been carrying his message. And tell him how you've been a spreader of peace. And how you've been a person who's made sure 
that you did not create any fitna in your community. When you tell him all these things, then be proud of yourself tonight. And if you can't tell him these things, then begin your change. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Qadr, in the amals of the Knights of Qadr, first and foremost, we have to offer two rakat salat. In every rakat after Surah Al-Hamd, we have to recite seven times Surah Yaqul Hu Allahu Ahad. Uh, most of us have already prayed this salat. For those who have not done so, can do it uh, any time during the night. Thereafter, we have to, we have to take out tasbih 70 times, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. This also, if you haven't done so, you can do it any time during the night. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has mentioned that uh, Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad Let's all recite a salawat in the loudest, loudest of your voices on this night. Tonight is a night in which we continue to pledge our allegiance to the Thaqalain, to the Quran and to the Ahlul Bayt, alayhimu salam. And so this particular act that we're about to perform is an act that has reached us from the Ahlul Bayt السلام, and from the great scholars who had compiled which acts the Ahlul Bayt السلام, used to perform, whether it be under the category of the second ten nights of the holy month of Ramadan and tonight is the 19th, or in the category of the nights of Qadr, Shaykh Al Kulaini and Shaykh Al Mufid and Ibn Tawus and Qutb al-Rawandi, and all the way until Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, the author of Mafatih al-Jinan. May Allah bless all of their souls. They are the ones who had collected a lot of the traditions, which are the base of what we do on nights like this. And of course, these traditions have come to us from the holy household. And of them is that we use the wasila, that is the Qur'an. The Qur'an is a wasila for us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the name of his book. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Quran acts as a shafi' for us on the day of judgment. That the Quran stands up for us and speaks for us and says, they are the ones who held me on the nights of Qadr. But from the nights of Qadr onwards, they decided to hold me every day. They decided from the night of Qadr, that they were not going to be of those who neglected the Qur'an, but rather were going to be of those who protected the Qur'an the way Ahlul Bayt السلام, protected the Holy Qur'an. Make a vow just now before we start that the Qur'an will not be there on our shelves to collect dust and will not just be there in our weddings and our funerals. But from tonight onwards, the Qur'an will be your friend. Whether literally in the form of a published book or even on the apps that you have on your phone and that every day in your life even if one ayah you reflect upon you make a promise tonight to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this first of the recitals in terms of the a'mal of the Quran will be a recital where we naturally ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free me from the fire of hell I've been unjust. And then from there, we will continue with the instructions. After the first one, which is to open the Holy Quran, the second one will be to place the Holy Quran on our heads and recite a dua. And then from there, we ask Allah. And we ask those chosen by Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we ask in the name of those chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us all join together. Open the Holy Quran, please. Look at the Holy Quran and recite the following. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. 
اللهم إني أسألك بكتابك المنزل وما فيه وفيه اسمك الأكبر وأسماءك الحسنى وما يخاف ويرجى أن تجعلني من عتقائك من النار أسقوا يا حاجات First always ask for others before you ask for yourself Whatever you do don't ask for yourself first We are those who ask for others الجار ثم الدار Ask for your neighbors Remember your marhumin your parents who may be in the world of Barzakh at the moment and those who instilled in you the love of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam Place the Holy Quran on your head and recite this dua Allahumma bihaqqi hadha al-Quran wa bihaqqi man arsaltahu به وبحق كل مؤمن مدحته فيه وبحقك عليهم فلا أحد أعرف بحقك منك With the Holy Quran placed on your head join me in saying each of the following ten times However difficult it is to call out the name of Allah, but Ya Allah, we see you as the most merciful. Bika Ya Allah, 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 Bika Ya Allah. بِكَ يَا اللَّهِ جَلَّ جَلَّ بِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ 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 بمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله 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 يا رسول الله I thank you for all of your sacrifices in allowing me to understand the religion of Islam. Ya Rasulullah, I acknowledge every one of the oppressions that you went through in your life. Ya Rasulullah, those who threw stones at you, and those who called you a sha'ar and a majnoon, and those who called you a kahin and a sahar, this is something we will never forget, Ya Rasulullah. But all we ask you, Ya Rasulullah, is one thing. Allow us to perform your ziyara, Ya Rasulullah. Those of us who miss Medina on a night like this, Ya Allah, allow us to return to Medina one day. Ya Allah, allow us to be amongst those those who receive the shafa'ah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi But Ya Rasulullah, you are the one who said to us قُلْ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا إِلَّا الْمَوَدَّةَ فِي الْقُرْبَى I don't ask from you anything except for you to show love towards my family. On a night like this, we call out your family members, the first of them, your wasi, your khalifa, and your wazir. بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام 
بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام بعلي عليه السلام my body may be here in this mosque but my heart is in Najaf tonight <laughs> My body may be here in this mosque, but my heart is next to the Amir in Najaf tonight. And if, and if my heart is broken tonight, then what happened to Zainab's heart? And if my heart is broken tonight, then what happened to Zainab's heart? بفاطمة عليها السلام 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 I'd rather it was my rib that was taken and not yours I'd rather it was my teenage years that were taken and not yours Ya Allah, on a night like this I ask you one day, allow my cheeks to rub the grave of Fatima. Ya Allah, allow us one day to hold a majlis next to the grave of Fatima. But Ya Allah, Ya Allah, I ask you one thing. I thought a baby died in Medina. That would be the only baby that Al Muhammad lost. But I never expected at Karbala for them to have another baby God. All of us together, Bil Hassani alayhi salam. Bil Hassani alayhi salam. Bil Hassani alayhi salam. بالحسني عليه بالحسني عليه السلام 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 الحسن مظلوم مظلوم والله الحسن مسموم Imam al-Hasan is mazlum, but also Imam al-Hasan is masmum. Never will we forget the poisoning of Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam. Ya Allah, how is it that Baqi'ah is in this state? Ya Allah, I pray one day I see a majlis in Jannat al-Baqi'ah. And I see the mosque of Imam al Hassan and the Imam and the rest of the Imams of Jannat al Baqi'ah. Bil Husayni alayhi salam. Bil Husayni alayhi salam. Bil Husayni alayhi salam. Bil Husayni alayhi salam. Bil Husayni. بالحسين عليه السلام 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 السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله 
وعلى الارواح التي حلت بفنائك عليكم مني السلام الله ابدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعلها الله اخر العهد مني لزيارتكم all of us together السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى اولاد الحسين وعلى اصحاب الحسين ابا عبد الله allow me to be next to you in Karbala this year Allow me to be amongst your zawar. My dear brothers and sisters, may I just narrate one dream that one of the ulama saw. He said, I saw Imam al Hassan and Imam al Hussein alayhim as salam in my dream talking to one another. He said, Imam al Hussein looked at his brother and he said to him, Oh, my elder brother. Oh my elder brother, is it fair, is it fair that the way uh, he looked at him and he said to him, Imam al Hassan looked at Imam al Hussein, he said to him, uh, My brother, it's not fair that they beheaded you, but they only poisoned me. It's not fair. I was at the receiving end of poison, but they beheaded you. Imam al Hussein turned around to him and said, My brother Hassan, it's not fair. It's not fair that I have many Zawar to visit me. Allah. I have many Zawar to visit me, but there's none to visit you. My brother, it's not fair. It's not fair that when my Zawar come to visit me, they're welcomed. Whereas your Zawar are pushed away from you. <laughs> then Imam al Hussein said, My brother, it's not fair that I have a grave on top of mine. I have a dhariq on top of mine, and you have no dhariq on top of you. It's not fair, my brother. It's not fair that I have a alam on top of my mosque and you only have stones on top of you. Then Imam al Hassan looked at Imam al Hussein and he said to him, Oh, my brother, don't worry, there'll be a day when people will visit me and Zain al Abideen were coming to them. Muhammad al Baqir, Ja'far al Sadiq, and Umm al Baneen. And all they'll be looking for is one thing the vibration of a broken rib in Medina. Together, be Ali ibn al Hussein, 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 Alayhim as Salam, be Muhammad ibn Ali. بمحمد ابن علي 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 عليهما السلام بجعفر ابن محمد 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 عليه السلام all of you together now for باب الحوائج بموسى بن جعفر 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 عليهم السلام take my heart to Baghdad so I may see the grave of باب الحوائج just before he had left this world, one of his companions, Ali ibn Suwaid, narrates that I went to the prison where they kept Imam Musa al kadhim He said, I came to the Imam and I said to the Imam a line which all of us tonight will say, 
Imam, when will you return to us? He said, Imam, Bab al Hawaij Musa ibn Ja'far said, Meet me this Friday on the bridge of Baghdad. Allah, you all know where I'm heading. This is for all of the lovers of Bab al Hawaij. One is Abel Fadl al Abbas, the other is Musa al Kadam. He said to him, Meet me, tell my Shia they'll see me on the bridge of Baghdad on Friday morning. On that Friday morning, someone made an announcement. Ali ibn Suwaid says, The man called out, There's a body lying on the bridge. He said, We went there, there was a doctor by the body. We said to him, Whose body is this? He said, The man, the poison is all over his body. At that moment, the doctor asked the question that broke all of our hearts. What was the question? Does he have any family here? Allah. The reply was, his family are all in Medina. <laughs> they took his body to bury the body, but at least his companions could bury his body. <laughs> One man lay on the ground in Karbala for three nights with none to bury his body. Be Ali ibn Musa, be Ali ibn Musa, be Ali ibn Musa, be Ali ibn Musa, be Ali ibn Musa. بعلي ابن موسى 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 عليهم السلام يا الله grant us the ziyar of Imam al Rabban مشهد إن شاء الله بمحمد ابن علي 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 عليهم السلام بعلي ابن محمد 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 عليه السلام the Imams of Samarra بالحسن ابن علي 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 عليه السلام With all my respect to my Imam, if he's standing next to me now, that I have been not the best of your servants, O oh Imam. But allow me on a night like this to be amongst your servants, Ya Allah. I ask you to allow me to be amongst the companions of the Imam. Allow all of us to be alongside the Imam all together with your loudest voices. بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائم بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائمي بالحجة القائم عليه السلام اطلبوا حاجاتكم ask for your حاجات ask ask for all of those who are in need Ask for all those who face difficulties. Ask for an increase in your ilm and your hikmah, your knowledge and your wisdom. For closeness to Muhammad and Al Muhammad. For marhumin. To be amongst the companions and the soldiers of the Imam of our time.
صلوا على محمد وآل محمد